Mark Spencer here with a motion tip from applemotion.net and rippletraining.com. This is a motion tip about motion blur, specifically about how to get motion blur in your motion project to show up when your motion product is embedded in a Final Cut Pro sequence. So let's start here. I'm in motion and I've got a little text animation. I'll play it for you here. Just a simple little text animation. You can see right now I'm getting about 12 frames per second. It's an HD project and I've got drop shadows on the text, which is why it's a little bit slow. Um, but if I back the playhead up, you can see there's absolutely no motion blur. So in motion to turn on motion blur, you can either go up to the view menu under the render options and there's motion blur. Or you can go to this view pop-up menu at the top right of the canvas and I'm sorry, go to the render menu at the top right of the canvas and you can choose motion blur right there or use the keyboard shortcut option M. And I'll turn it on there and you can see now that there's motion blur. I'll play it back and you'll see that performance is dramatically impacted once you have motion blur on because uh, every frame is actually combining multiple frames together to make this individual frame. So frequently you turn it off while you're working and turn it on just to check. Now, I don't really like the way this motion blur works. If you want to adjust the motion blur, you would go under edit, choose project properties, and then go to the render settings tab. And for instance, I'll increase the number of samples to 12, but I'm also going to, I'll hit command J to bring that back. I hit return. I'll return number of samples to 12, and I'm going to set the shutter angle to 180. So I have a, a lower shutter angle, but more samples. And you'll see the result here that we get a nice smoother motion blur because of that. It's more samples, so if I play back, it's going to play back even slower. So that's the big thing about motion blur. It, it really has a big impact on playback performance and on rendering, but it can look very nice. Now, frequently what people do when they work in motion with motion blur is they'll turn it off in the project. So let's do that. Render, motion blur, I'll turn it off. And they'll only turn it on the export. So you can go into the file menu. You can choose export. And then you can choose options. And then in the output tab, you can choose to override the current project settings by turning this checkbox off and then go down and enable motion blur. So motion blur is not turned on for playing back the project, but it will be turned on for the render. And that's an efficient way to work when you're rendering out a movie. However, I'm going to cancel out of this. If your plan is to embed your motion project in Final Cut Pro, or you're in motion because you sent clips from Final Cut Pro to motion, it's very important, in fact, it's critical that motion is motion blur is turned on in the project. If motion blur is not turned on in the project, it will not show up in Final Cut no matter what you do. So I'm going to go into the view menu here, sorry, under the render menu, and choose motion blur once again so that it's turned on, and then we can save our project. So that's the first key thing to know is if you want motion blur to show up in your motion project that's in Final Cut Pro, you've got to have motion blur turned on in motion. Okay, let's go over to Final Cut Pro. So here I've actually saved two motion projects, one with motion blur turned on and one with no motion blur turned on. And if I drag the one with no blur, motion blur turned on into the sequence, um, you'll see there's no motion blur and no matter what you do, it's not gonna, it's not gonna show up. Now I'm gonna bring in the one uh, with motion blur and I'll drop that in our sequence. And here again, you say, wait a minute, I don't see any motion blur, what's going on? I know motion blur's turned on, so here's the deal. Here's the second part you need to know in order to see the motion blur in Final Cut. I'm going to make sure the sequence is selected, go to Sequence, and choose Settings. Now here in Settings, we're going to go to the Render Control tab. Down here, there are a couple settings for how Final Cut handles motion projects. Master Templates means motion master templates and motion projects. So generally, you might find both of these, this set quality set to normal and always use best quality turned off. Under this condition here, you will never ever see motion blur, okay? The way to have it render motion blur is to check this checkbox here. Because the quality is set to normal, you won't see the motion blur in Final Cut, but when it renders, you will see it. Let me see if I can explain what that means. First one, I'll go, I'm gonna turn this to best, okay? So I'm going to set the quality to best. I'm going to click OK. Now, technically, we should be seeing motion blur now. And I'm finding a little bit of a bug that we need to render one frame to get this to work. So I'm going to hit I and O to set an in and an out point here. I'm going to go under the sequence menu under render selection and make sure unlimited is chosen. 
because I'm in unlimited right now. So when I hit uh, Command R, it'll render that frame. And I just want it to render that frame. And now you can see motion blur. And if I move off of that frame, you can see there's motion blur on every frame now. So it's kind of a little bit of a trick. There's a little bit of a bug in there in order to be able to see the motion blur on your sequence. The reason we can see motion blur now is because in that render control tab, I chose the, let's go back and see that. So command zero, render control tab, I chose the best quality. That's the only way to see the motion blur within the Final Cut project. Now what you can do is turn that back to normal so motion blur will not show up in Final Cut, but it will show up when it's rendered. So just to see what that looks like, because that's really my suggested workflow for you, is to leave quality set to normal and then just leave this checked here. So in this case, and once again, I'm just gonna hit um, Command R to render between those in and out points. And now we can see, I don't see any motion blur here. Let's zoom in closer. I'm just gonna hit uh, Option Plus a few times. So we see no, no motion blur on these unrendered frames, but if I go to the rendered frame right here, we see motion blur, okay? So just to be really clear, the reason we see motion blur here is because this is a rendered frame. We don't see motion blur here because it's not a rendered frame. What this gives us is better performance while we're working, but when we render, we will see the motion blur. So again, Command-0 or Sequence Settings, Render Control tab, quality is set to normal so that motion blur is not um, showing unless we render, and that's why this is checked here. So that's what I'd recommend for how to set up your project. So again, the two key pump components are in motion, motion blur must be enabled, and then in Final Cut, you need to go to Sequence and go to Settings or Command-0 to the Render Control tab and make sure that uh, this checkbox is checked so that when you render, you will see that motion blur. And if you want to see the motion blur without rendering, you can always set the quality level to best. That's the motion tip for today. Again, I'm Mark Spencer from rippletraining.com and applemotion.net, and hope you found this useful. Thanks.